What's up? What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm from Joe here with my homegirl, Sadistic. Yeah. Uh, I did a video last night about people uh, on the people I knew on Now Live because I was apologizing to a lot of people. And I get on my YouTube and to see who left a comment about that video. And this guy writes, I didn't know who this guy was because he wrote some bullshit. I'm read half a little bit of it, but I'm gonna show you what he said too. He says, fine, you say you would delete damaged videos you made because you had nothing, nothing but Photoshop junk and never check with my side of what happened and refused to look at proof. I post to clear me. I will give you one week to undo all the damage. Like, like, dude, that's a ransom note for one. Like, I like that's a ransom note because one thing is when you write to a complete stranger, it can be by letter, it can by be by email, it can be faxed, whatever. That's a ransom note in the eyes of the law. If you were, if I work for a big business, a company business. And my boss told me you got seven days to work on this. That's different. That's my job. But when it comes down to it, outside of work, that is a ransom note, like you kidnap one of my relatives. And um, I'm gonna show you, show everybody what he said because I want everybody to look what he said. His name is Ninja Ninja Man. Like you see, I. Uh, all this stuff what he's saying and plus I was talking about the people on now live not now uh, I was talking about the people on now live not live video I was not talking about the people from live video I was talking about the people from now live and my friend uh, kept telling me it has to be that ninja guy from live video that was sending pictures of his penis to women around the site well if you are that guy if you are that guy it is I remember his face and the, the, the pictures that I've seen in rooms like Kathy's and uh, famous ones or whoever um showed his face and it was not photoshopped it was really him sitting in a chair that his underage daughter sat in yeah See, and if I remember correctly, the video that you made about it, you did not have one photo of him in your video. So how the fuck can you think and say that you, you would post the videos of women's reputation and in fact he was on the business himself by being a dumbass and showing his strong to a bunch of fucking women on live videos that were screen captured. Yeah. And and I tell you, and I say this, if you are that guy, it's like this, I have heard, I have seen witnesses tell it like it is. I had a friend, on my friends that's on live video, post that she's, that she's got a picture from you showing your penis off and jacking yourself off. That if there's a witness showing the picture that you sent her and other witnesses showing what you sent them, then that's not a lie. I'm not going to apologize to you if you are that ninja guy from live video. This video is nothing, has nothing to do with the people I know on live video. It has to do with the people on now live, not live video because I'm not going to sit there and apologize to a guy that showed his penis to women who have boyfriends, fiancés, and husbands because that's fucked up. And you, and second thing is, you don't write a fucking ransom note to a complete stranger over the internet. I could have turned that into the fucking police or the FBI 
because they would have seen that as a ransom note. You got seven days. When you say, when you put a time limit on it, you got seven days. Then they will sit there and they will have you arrested. I could have did that. And I've actually said, there's people that did more damage than I have. I guess you didn't hear that part. I think you need to clean the shit out of your ears and listen to it again there's people that did more damage than I have if somebody damaged your property if somebody knocked your daughter up that's somebody else I'm not going to apologize for somebody else's bullshit do not compare my videos to your real life problems do not do that because I don't live with you. I'm not in your house. I'm not there to fuck your shit up. See, anybody can say something. Anybody can say something. But when somebody damaged your property, that's different from somebody talking about you instead of fucking up your shit. So, if my video pissed you off, for a year because you sent pictures of your dick to women on a, a site that's not my fault and I'm not going to apologize for it you got to fix that shit yourself ninja man and I did and one thing is I did a video on his daughter if that's the right dude from the live mm -hmm. video I did a video yeah. on his daughter and I didn't talk shit about her and she was kind of upset. She's like, uh, I didn't like the I don't like I didn't like it that you made a video about me, but she said, Thanks for not talking bad about me. So she said, Can you remove the video? And I removed it because she heard about it and she asked nicely. At least I showed her respect and took it down. I said I was sorry. I apologized to her. I did not sit there and gave her she didn't sit there and give me no fucking time limit. She didn't say, oh, if you don't do that, blah, blah, blah. She didn't do that. The damage that you, if you are that ninja guy from live video to show this dick on cam to all the women, that's your damage. I can't fix that. God made the world in seven days. He didn't make it in a day. And I'm not going to apologize to a guy that actually fucked himself out a lot of shit. See, the videos I do, half um, half the videos I do writes itself because there's fuckers like you that will actually be dumb enough to out themselves. I was like, I always say, if you listen to half the shit I say in my videos, I always say, watch what you say and do because the internet is your smoking gun. And what you just post on that comment saying you got seven days somebody could have came by and mistaken that as a fucking damn ransom note see his name is ninja man see right here ninja man post four hours ago that whole that whole you got one you got one week to undo all the damage that right there man somebody could have mistaken that for a damn ransom note and they could have had you arrested or reported if somebody report that comment of what you said to YouTube and YouTube sees that, their job is to report you to the authorities. That means they can call the FBI on you because that's how it is. Because like I said, you got to watch what you say and do. Because if you don't, you're going to fuck yourself out of everything. Don't get mad over one fucking video that's on YouTube. Get mad at yourself because you did something stupid. I'm not going to apologize to nobody that's going to threaten somebody and send a fucking ransom note to me. You got anything to say, Sadisty? I, I think it's ridiculous that he is charge Yeah. I'm for real, man. I don't. I didn't send no ransom. I don't send ransom notes to people. If somebody did a video on me. 
finally did a video on me. I'm not going to sit up there and... Stephen Bravo did a video on me. Did I get mad and send him a damn death threat or a ransom note? Fuck no. I had a... Fuck no. I didn't do that, but there was a lot of people saying you're co that he was copying me. That was it. I didn't get mad at Bravo and say, well, fuck you, Bravo. You got uh, one week to take that shit out. No. EA J-Man did a video about me. I didn't sit there and say, well, you got one week to take that shit down. No. Because a video is just a video. Because right now, you just incriminated yourself by leaving a comment. And that's how it is, Ninja Man. If somebody and you don't, you don't end him in the apology. Yeah. Because you didn't do nothing. Like I said earlier, if you didn't go on my video and open the room and post his fucking pictures that are of him, you know, on your mini cam slash and like tapping and all these people did, oh. all you did was make a video and talk about it. You know? Yeah. See, there was people that, if you, like I said, if you are that guy from live video that did show his dick to It win. is him. Okay. His live video name was like Ninja and had like numbers after it. Yeah, okay. It's like it's like Sadistic said. I didn't have the evidence. I didn't we have just saw it. I saw it. And I saw it from. And it wasn't Photoshopped either. It was not Photoshopped. They got the picture straight from the witnesses that was on the site. I did not have that shit in my possessions. So you cannot attack me for what somebody got and for somebody did. You're blaming somebody else for somebody's fuck up. I'm not going to be your fucking scapegoat. I'm not going to apologize for your fuck up that you showed your dick to every woman on one site. That was your mistake. And I feel bad for you if you're a father, man. Because if I was your child, I would feel so fucking embarrassed. So fucking embarrassed to be your child. That is so unnecessary. And you sit up here, you're 47 years old. And you... And you sitting up here um, up on YouTube making a fucking ransom note to somebody that you don't even fucking know. 40, see, 47 years old and you're up on YouTube making damn ransom notes. What kind of man are you? It's 2012 and you're fucking making ransom note. You're making ransom note. Are you, uh, it's, and one thing is, are you that stupid? Don't you know that the government is watching your every keystroke you make? Like I said, they could mistake it, your comment for a damn ransom note or for a terrorist threat. Like I said, you got to watch what you say and do on the internet because whatever you do will get mistaken for something else if you know how to, if because one thing is if you don't want to get fucked up over the internet you better think before you do think before you act think before you say something think before you type something on youtube there's been a lot of people that ended up going to jail for terrorist acts because they posted something on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, MySpace, every fucking social network there is. People got caught. And that's how it is, man. Don't sit up here and threaten me with a fucking ransom note. You got a week to do something. No, I'm not going to apologize to a damn guy that's going to write a ransom note to me. That's unnecessary. Plus, you're 47. You're 47 years old. I'm not going to apologize to a 47-year-old man that likes to show his dicks to married women. I'm not. And that's how it is. Ninja man. 
And plus, if you read what the title said in that video, Now Lime Family, it had the fucking banner of Now Lime in the video. How do you get live video out of Now Live? Think about it. Take a second. But, Ninja Man, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. The, if the pictures was not in the video of you, when you was jacking off, beating your fucking meat, And something I didn't have but everybody else had those people could have posted that picture anywhere they probably have yeah probably have that one photo of you beating your meat and busting a nut somebody already posted up on a porno site and you're sitting up here getting mad at me over a YouTube video that was done a year ago yeah done a year ago so Correct your shit. Wake the fuck up. And realize. Somebody did. More damage than I have. Cause like I said man. I didn't do what they done. You cannot blame me for somebody. Taking your picture of your penis. And posting it up on a porno site. You cannot blame me for that. I did a YouTube. Do not compare my videos to what somebody else did there's been people already tried to do that compare my shit to something that happened in their real life there's been people there's shit that happened in the world and I bring that to the people I don't talk shit about nobody but now since you wrote that comment you led me right back to going back to my old fucking ways to talking shit to people I didn't want to talk shit about nobody but you wanted to sit up here and write a fucked up ass comment you got one week nigga you got one day to leave me the fuck alone or I'll report your ass to YouTube now that's what you that's a threat right there I'm gonna report you to YouTube YouTube But you do not sit up there and make a damn ransom note to somebody. That's what that is. A 47-year-old making a damn ransom note. You got to pay me one million dollars or I'll kill your family. That's a ransom note, motherfucker. You got one, you got one week to undo all the damage. I can't do all that shit, man. I can't. Take, I can't reverse what other people did. That's for sure. That's for sure. Because one thing is, man, everybody else, I talked back in the day, I talked that shit. But I wasn't that evil and did what they did. So one thing is, Ninja Man, you need to get your shit together and correct yourself. Because that whole little post that you did that you say you doing a damn little ransom now you can say oh it's not a ransom now to the po to the feds it will to the feds it looks like a ransom now because when you start putting a time limit on something when you write a note to somebody and you say you got one week or one hour one day that's a ransom note dude to the to the eyes of the law the FBI can look at that as a damn terrorist threat I'm not calling you a terrorist but that's what the government will probably see it as as a terrorist threat so ninja man before you sit up here and threaten somebody you need to wake up and realize something man what's said and done on the what's what's said and done in a video whatever I said in the video is different from what somebody can do in real life to you if somebody came up and killed your family and I said, how, how you going, if, if somebody came up and killed your family, but I said something about you because you did something, and you did something fucked up, why would you get mad at me for saying something, but you won't get mad at the person that killed your family? 
never sit there and compare what I said to what somebody did to you because words are words but doing something can change your life and that's how it is and you sit there and say it oh you ain't get my side of the story you ain't get my side of the story man you had lots of women sit up there and say you showed your dick to them how was, <laughs> why would anybody want to listen to your side yeah, like, like, like Sadistic said, the proof was in the pussy. And that's how I it. saw it, and I didn't want to fucking see it. Yeah, Sadistic saw that picture. In the like, room, there's like five different screenshots of it. Yeah, five different screenshots. But he wants to make the damn ransom note to my ass. Right now, I can't think about it. Yeah. See, man, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, and plus, I said this in the, the Now Live video. It took me to insult people to get them to wake the fuck up. And that's one thing I did not want to do was insult people to make them realize that, hey, you need to watch what the fuck you're doing. And I hated that. I hated that. Since I did that video of you and I did not have evidence, you better be fucking glad, man. Because if I had that damn evidence, man, on you, hey, your life definitely would have been fucked up. Yeah, but that's how it is, man. You can't sit up here and blame me for somebody else's mistake. I already took a lot of shit from everybody. I just don't need to take no shit from you. <laughs> I'm Afro motherfucking J O E, and and you just a, and you, and all I've done ever since I left fucking chat sites was do shit, do stories about motherfuckers fucking up on the internet in real life or what they done. I've actually had, I've actually did video about a woman killing her baby because she loved Farmville so much. I did stories about a woman leaving her three kids at home just to go next door to fuck her neighbor. And you are sitting up there worrying about what I said about you in a fucking video. A year ago. A year, yes, a year ago. You worry about, like I said, like like I said, man, like 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 you're right. People are pathetic. If you can't forgive somebody and you hold that grudge longer than five, from one to five years, then you are pity. You're a pitiful person. You're bitter, and you cannot move on because you rather hold that fucking grudge than forgive somebody. If you can't forgive somebody, then your life is full of shit. Like that said, that now live video did not concern nobody on live video. It was towards the people I talk shit about on now live. That was on now live. That came over to live video. It was the people from Now Live that came to Live Video. Those are the people I'm apologizing, but not the people I met on Now Live. It was, uh, excuse me, let me rephrase it. It was not for the people that I met on Live Video. It was for the people that I knew from Now Live. Ninja Man, I don't know who you are. You was on Live Video, so I didn't, I'm not going to apologize to you because you made a fucking mistake. And that's how it is. Would you like to have the have it, you have any more words to uh anything else to say before we end this video? Um not really, I mean I don't know. I I didn't know Ninja that well. I mean I've seen his room. I would like to see his room open like when I browse by video and you know he needs to man up and take responsibilities for what he did. And quit, you know, blaming people for ruining his reputation. 
you know, he pretty much did it himself. Um, because I saw the fucking pictures. I don't remember what room I was in, but it was in one of the rooms, like Kathy's room or something, and I'm not saying it's Kathy, I'm saying it possibly could have been him. I, I don't remember because it's not very important to me because I didn't want to take pictures at all. But, you know, Afro Joe has not ever posted pictures of you. All you've done was talk some shit. That's completely different from showing pictures. And they're not photoshopped because, you know, I I can tell they're not photoshopped because I use photoshop. Yeah. So you lying is only making yourself look more guilty and making you look more like a fucking fool. Yeah. Oh, the fuck up your old ass nasty ugly motherfucking man. Yes. Dick and the booty ass. Dick and the booty ass. Dick and the right. booty ass. Yeah. She's right. I don't know how to use Photoshop. You are lying about, you're lying on me just to get people to feel sorry for you. You're lying on me just to get people to feel sorry for you. And you're trying to, trying to cover up your little bullshit lie by saying, Oh, I never did that. But hold on, let me show you his page. This is Ninja Man. This is a little page. Let me scroll down to the little, 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 little page. He said he joined last year. He said date joined March 22nd, 2011. If you joined last... If you join last, hold on, this and he's 47, age 47, 47 years old. A 47 year old jumping on a 27 year old man, because the 47 year old showed his dick to a lot of people on a broadcasting site. I'm, I, I don't. It's not even around anymore. Yeah, that's not even around no more. I need you apologize. I need you apologize. And he sus and he and he subscribed to cartoons. Forty seven years old and watching cartoons. <laughs> Forty seven years old, I'm old fifty years old sitting up there watching cartoon kind of man I And jacking off. And jacking off Where my uh where my daughter sits when she does shows. Yeah, and you're and you jacked up on and you jacked off on a couch where your daughter sits, man. I feel bad for your daughter because she, <laughs> she said she sat on a couch that you beat your meat on. Well, this has been Afro Joe telling like a TIS again. I'm not. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's a this did. I'm not even gonna post my Facebook. I'm not Facebook. My Twitter. Or my Tumblr, or my YouTube channels, because this motherfucker is dirty. Just dirty. Never in my life, never in my fucking life, I ever seen somebody blame me for their mistakes. Never in my life. A 47-year-old man jacking off on his couch, sending married women, women with boyfriends, and women that have fiancés, pictures of his dick, but wants to blame me for doing a video about him. But there's people with your picture posting him up around the internet, but my video struck a nerve with you. How the fuck can you get mad over a video than somebody having a picture of you jacking off? That, yeah, he is a dumbass. So that means that you are the most pathetic piece of shit to ever walk this earth. Out of million sperm, he's the one that got, he's the one that got through out of a million sperm and he's the one that got through a 47 year old man that's gonna sit up and try to talk shit motherfucker you can't talk shit even if to save your life with your ransom note looking ass like a, 
Shit, man, I'm telling you, man, dumbass people today, 2012, and motherfuckers sitting up there writing ransom notes to people on YouTube. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you two didn't report your ass already to the FBI. That's how it is. Dude, well, this has been Afro Joe 10 like the T.I. is again. Just, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to say my Twitter, my Tumblr, or my fucking you, or my YouTube channels because it's not even worth it for this video of a man that's going to write ransom videos. I mean, make a ransom, okay. yeah, ransom comment. Like I always say, peace, love, and Afro-grease. Pathetic piece of shit.